All right, it is time to go live. Hello, everybody. Just hiding off camera over here. It is super bright out. Got my Blackbird hat on. Hopefully, that allows me to see the camera, see the bike. Uh, this is the, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, the Angway uh, electric bike brand. And they actually sent me two bikes, which I'm glad they did. I'm only going to review the mountain bike model you see right here today. And then next week, I'm going to show off the fat tire folding bike. I do have it off to the side. Uh, I'll bring that on camera later. And I have a good reason for doing that, which I'll explain in a moment. First of all, I just want to say hi to everybody who is here. Let's uh, check out some of the comments we got in the chat. And I do see before uh, the video started and anybody could comment that uh, we have a couple questions. Dennis Maddox, uh, who was the nice lady who's helping you with the podcast yesterday on Fat Tires? I assume he means the video we released yesterday. Uh, so that was Jara Lee. She is one of the employees here. She does most of the CNC machining, or I should say all of the CNC machining. Uh, I used to be in the shop a lot, and uh, she thank thankfully she takes care of basically all of that. And every once in a while, if I need help with a video or something, uh, she's there. Uh, so those bike tools, the free wheel removal tools that a lot of you have purchased, uh, Jerry is the one behind the scenes actually making those on a daily basis, machining them, uh, setting up the machines, you know, sharpening tools, replacing tools, all that good stuff. She knows how to do it all. Uh, and then Motor Pro, what are the perks for joining the channel? As you've probably noticed now, uh, once the video starts rolling, you can't chat live. Uh, unless you are a member. So at the lowest membership tier, uh, you can chat live on the YouTube videos that we put out. You also get a fancy little badge next to your name that changes. I don't know if most of you guys knew that, but the badge you get as you've been a member longer and longer, you get different bike parts and accessories, and eventually it becomes an entire fat bike. Just a little tidbit of information you may not have known. Uh, there is a higher membership level that's $9.99 a month and those people get extra access behind the scenes. Uh, sometimes we put out videos ahead of time or we give them thumbnails to vote on before the videos come out so they know what's coming you know a day or so ahead of the videos as early as I can possibly get that information out. Uh, and I also put out an extra video every month for those members. So for example they just got an in-depth video update on our newest bike in development, which is titanium, which the rest of you didn't get. So those are a few of the things. There's more. Uh, but if you look on that membership join button, it will give you the exact details. I hope that helps. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, uh, Hog Doc. And it looks like Jessica's on the chat as well. Paul says, hi. James says hi. Let's see, uh, John says hi. Jessica, ooh, titanium. Yes, that's true. Uh, awesome. So that's, uh, that's all of the questions for the moment. Now, let's get to the bike review at hand. Once again, this is from a company called Angway. Uh, they have, it looks like, been around for a couple of years. Um, I haven't heard too much about them, but they're not brand new. Um, and I, I just got to say this up front as I, I'm going to tilt the camera down, bring the bike closer, and I want to get some close-ups because there's some things you need to see. Unfortunately for Engway, they're not things they probably want you to see. So here's, here's the dis... It's not a disclaimer. It's just the truth. You know, it's, it's a hard thing to do e-bike reviews because what do you do if you get a bike that isn't very good? Well, the answer is you be honest and just review it anyway. And I feel like that's what I have here. I have something advertised as a mountain bike and this style looks like a mountain bike. You know, it's got 26 inch narrower tires and it that's just that's what it looks like 
but is it? And when I say is it, I mean, is it? Like, could you actually go mountain biking with it? Uh, I'm, I'm going to just say no. No, you, you couldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend going off a curb too harshly. And that may sound like a harsh thing to say, but that's the truth. Uh, so at a distance, it looks like a decent narrow tired bike. It's got kind of a cool paint job. You know, we've got a high long style battery case. This looks like pretty standard stuff. Uh, we've got a hub motor, not a very powerful bike, 250 watts. You know, that's, that's okay. Uh, we just reviewed and kind of sort of did a giveaway, basically put a bike for, for a really low price on ebikesearch.com, which I'll point out, I had one person complaining at us because he said, there's no way anybody could have clicked on that faster than I did. You guys are trying to scam me. I'm sorry, you just, you didn't click fast enough. Somebody, actually like four people clicked before you. So uh, don't get mad if you didn't win a bike or get one for a really good deal. We try our best. We give away as many as we can. Um, anyway, the point is that bike had a 250 watt motor and I think I gave it a pretty fair review. I, I liked the bike overall for the price. Uh, price point, I think that's gonna help understand this bike. Here, I'm gonna, we're gonna tilt this down a little more. There, it's focused on the bike now. How much is this bike? Well, it's on sale right now for like 500 some dollars. In fact, I'm gonna bring up their website uh, in the background here. Maybe I can share my screen. Yes, we can. Hold on just a second. Let's get this up. There we go. You should be able to see that. Yes, perfect. Okay, here's their website. Uh, U.S. Warehouse. Uh, this is the Ingly MBT 26. There we go. Regular price says $9.99. Says $569. So this is a really inexpensive bike. Uh, another word you could use is cheap. Um, I'm going to say it's it's cheap. That's, that's the bike. There's three different colors. I got the blue one, obviously. They did send it to me for free to do the review. And I'm just going to give you my honest opinion. Uh, we can talk about some of the specs real quick. Free shipping, one-year warranty, uh, front mechanical spring. I'm trying to get this little thing to just go away. That keeps coming back. That's slightly annoying. Okay, 250-watt motor, 36-volt, 8-amp hour, hour battery. Tiny little battery, aluminum frame, uh... You know, that's interesting. Lightweight aluminum alloy frame. I'm saying that's interesting because I'm going to show you something in a minute. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, front and rear disc brake, full throttle, says 25 miles per hour. I haven't confirmed that. You know, power-wise, yeah, should be able to do that. Um, says seven speeds. It's actually not. Man, they have way too many pop-ups on their website. Angway, please dial down the pop-ups. There's like three of them and none of them will go away. Okay, it's got a headlight. It actually has a horn too. Uh, but there you go. That's that's the bike. And let's see. Just uh, just checking here. Oh, UPS guy's coming in. You're live, UPS man. Hope you like to be on camera. Uh, oh, that's a cute bike. <laughs> yeah. John, the fairest reviews anywhere. That is, that is the plan. So, let's uh, let's talk about some of the problems. Uh, let's get back to. Uh oh. Where's our camera? Okay. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna try and bring. There we go. Camera is back. Awesome. So. I'm going to bring the bike over really close and we're going to get some close up shots of the frame. I'm just going to show you the first things I saw when I pulled the bike out of the box. And yeah, Pedro, no, Peter, that's the same price as the cheap Walmart e-bike. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason for that. A few 
few big reasons. So first off, let's, when I pulled it out of the box, I could see before I unwrapped anything, the top of the seat post here and check this out. Here we go, close up. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but the quality of the frame inside the seat post doesn't look great. Uh, in fact, there's paint flaking off right here, and that right there is rust. Now, I don't know about you guys, but how is there rust like that if this is an aluminum frame? Also, the thickness of this right here, um, that just that doesn't seem like aluminum. This seems like a steel frame to me. So I'll just point that out. Engway can let me know if this is aluminum, but uh, I don't, I don't know about that. Now moving over, you can kind of see the paint is a little bubbly right here in this area. It's not very good. Uh, I could have done a better paint job with like a spray can from the hardware store. That's not what I like to see, you know. But a little paint imperfection, you know. I've I've seen it before. You know, it's even happened to our bikes. Every once in a while you get, you get a frame and it just wasn't painted well and we got to set that one aside and, and figure out what to do with it. Um, but it didn't stop there. I'm going to put this seat back in. So if we go over this way, there was a piece of tape from packaging right there. Let's... Can we, yeah, we're gonna see that right there. I peeled a piece of scotch tape off and it pulled the paint up and the frame is rusty underneath the paint. The only way that I can see this happening is if this was kind of a rusty steel frame and they painted over the top of the, the rust. And that's not a good, sign. Uh, not a good sign at all, in my opinion. Now, coming over a little bit more, if you look at this stem, it's a little weird. Um, the finish, like machining on this, I don't know if this was forged, machined. I mean, the top of it kind of looks like somebody finished it off by like cutting it with a hacksaw. The stem does not look like a good quality stem. I've never seen one like that before. Very weird. Not too sure about that. Um, and I know there's a lot of bad things kind of all at once, but it is what it is. Uh, and then if we go down a little more, you know what? I'm going to just, I got the camera on like this tripod thing that I move around and I'm just going to remove it from this for a moment to make this easier. There we go. That's better. Okay. So as we zoom in on this, top of the fork, you know, we're not even going to talk about the fork. You see that? There's a brand new bike I pulled out of the box. There's rust on the top of the fork right there. And there's signs of rust starting to form right there. And now that I've got this camera off, maybe, come on, focus. There we go. Now you can see the stem a little bit more. And it doesn't really want to focus on that, but there we go. Yeah, it's just kind of kind of weird, like a rough cut piece of metal. Very strange, but not happy with the paint job because it looks like it was painted on a rusty frame. And if it was aluminum, I don't see how that would happen. Uh, fork, pretty, pretty dinky looking. I don't think it would hold up with me on it on trail for long at all. So not a mountain bike. Uh, you know, if it was a child on this who was really lightweight, maybe it would hold up for a little while. Um, but yeah, components on this, guys, don't... Well, I shouldn't say components. Let me backtrack. The quality of the frame and the fork and the stem, like the meat of the bike, doesn't, doesn't look great. Uh, so pretty small battery. 
Um, you know, not gonna knock it down for there. It's 250 watts. That's enough for a small 250 watt hub motor. Um, but just, just the quality of the bike, the way it's put together is not inspiring much confidence. Uh, I think a lot of people wouldn't feel comfortable riding this. Uh, definitely lighter weight person for sure. Um, you know, a kid, teenager, as young and small, probably might get away with it. But more than that, I, I wouldn't do it. So there's some of my initial thoughts on the bike. And basically, I'm going to put this back on the tripod now so my hands are free and I can move the bike around. Basically, that was, even though the other bike I've got, which is over here, was not due for a review until next week, that is why I unboxed it today. Because I wanted to know firsthand, is the other bike built like this one? Because this isn't, uh, isn't very good. I know it's really cheap, but you can tell like it's, it's cheap for a good reason. Um, I think for the price, you'd be a whole lot better saving up a little bit longer and you know, spending $8.99 on one of the electric XP models or, or something else. Um, you know, even that has a bigger battery, a little more power, and the quality is, is, a, is just way above what this is. So, uh, sorry to have a not so favorable review on this particular bike, but that's, that's how it looks right now. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some, some questions about that or some, some comments. So let's, uh, let's see what they are. Um, what do we got here? New member, Ace. Awesome, Ace. Thank you for joining the channel. Everybody say hi to Ace. Um, I appreciate you joining. Let's, uh, let's jump up. So we have, all right, Rust by Rich, question mark. Peter says, looks rusty already. Um, let's see, the rust could be from the seat post or the clamp. Yeah, it's, it's the actual frame itself that has rust on it around the seat post. Uh, magnet test. Good idea. I actually did not bring a magnet out with me, but that would be a good way to, to check the, the bike. Uh, that's a steel frame. Uh, means someone did not do their prep work before painting. Absolutely. They definitely did not prep this frame properly. <laughs> Send it to Mako. That's funny. Has the bike been underwater? I think I saw somebody else had a, a comment about uh, maybe it came from a sunk container. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Angway. Like, this is, this is how the bike showed up, and it's not looking, not looking great. 007, uh, thanks for your comment. Brutally honest review. review. Yeah, unfortunately, it is. Everybody, it looks like a saying hi to Ace. So thank you, everybody. And hello, Ace. If you got questions, comments, jump in the chat. Let us know. Glad to have you here. <laughs> uh, Jessica, maybe while I was traveling, the ocean air got to it. Uh, and, and those are all possibilities. But if it was properly treated, as, uh, as somebody had said, um, that shouldn't happen. Um, definitely like there's just a lot of issues there um so that's that's what we got i mean do you guys still want to see me ride it and see what i think what's it like to ride around the parking lot and risk my life and limb to test this out for you if you do just say yes go ride it in the parking lot and i will still do it for you uh, <laughs> uh let's see i think they know they're selling yeah i mean yeah, you guys got a lot of a lot of interesting comments about that. Hey, Ace says hello, everybody. Thanks, Ace. Maybe the FedEx driver took it for a ride underwater. Yeah. So here's the deal. You guys, let me know if I still want if you still want to see me ride the bike and give you a review on the power and everything. Uh, while I'm waiting for all those comments to come in, let me roll over the fat tire folding bike for a second because. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. 
let's uh, tilt this camera down so you can see it. Check it out. This is the fat tire folding bike. The fork looks okay. The paint job looks good. The handlebars and stem look much better. We've got a nice display on it. Uh, comfy seat. Now, there are a couple of things I've noticed that I need to cover in the review. Again, that's going to be next week, so I'm not going to go into detail. But looking at this bike and that bike, it's like they came from two totally different companies. I am going to have to, unfortunately, say I wouldn't ever recommend anybody buy that one. This one might be completely the opposite. It might be a great deal for what it is, but I need to complete my evaluation and test writing on this one. But I wanted you guys to know that the problem may not be with all of Angway's bikes. It may be something unique to the mountain bike. Now, having seen the mountain bike, I'd want to see the rest of their bikes before I recommended any of them because I don't know what sort of quality we're going to get. But the folding bike right here, just night and day difference looks way, way better. So I do look forward to doing that review. Once again, that's going to be next Friday. So you'll have to wait for that one. And that might be a whole different story. Uh, so let's see. What do you what do you guys say? I'm bumping the camera again. All right. Uh, I know you've ridden it before. You can do it. Ride it. Live dangerously for one day. Take a spin. Uh, somebody says, no need to ride. Uh, you'll be fine. He probably can't even give that away. You don't have to ride it. We actually have some interesting mixed opinions on whether I should ride the bike or not. Of course I'm going to do it. Now, what I'm not going to do is go mountain biking with it because I think that could be a little sketchy. So, let's ride it. Let's show you some of the other things about the bike that maybe aren't so terrible. Uh, here we go. All right. Saddle quality. Uh, okay. Seat post quality. Not, not so great. It's, it's kind of cheap. Um, but it's there. It's got a seat. Uh, it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually a 21 speed bike. So even though it doesn't have a lot of power, it's reasonably lightweight and it has a lot of gears. So you could pedal this like a regular bike. Uh, it's a fairly small bike, kind of like a medium size, I would say. Um, let's see, what do we got here? There's a, there's a key to turn the bike on and off. There's a key to lock the battery on. And you have a very, very basic, uh, like, bar meter on the key function. So the bars just disappear as the battery goes down. There's no speed. There's no odometer. There's no voltage. There's nothing else. So all you have is a very basic uh, four LED bars that show you what your battery level is. And on the left side, there is a headlight button, which seems reasonably bright. And the headlight also has a built-in horn, which is kind of like that loud, obnoxious sound. But hey, it's got a horn. So that's it. And it does have, so this key setup, this is a throttle. Um, and there is a pedal assist sensor, but there's no assist level. So whatever level of assist this is on is just set from the factory. And it is what it is. Um, reminds me a lot of the original Saunders bikes where they just had a throttle with some LEDs. There was no display. And they had a 350 watt motor. They had a 36 volt 8.8 .8 amp hour battery. That's exactly the same as what this is. And they originally sold for $4.99 plus shipping when they did their original Indiegogo campaign. So this is priced very similarly to that, it's a little more money. And, and the problem I see with that is that that was released back in 2015 and we're in 2021. It's been six years. We should be further ahead than this. This feels like the quality of the bike we could have bought six years ago. And I guess that's another 
issue I, I have with it is there's no nothing new, no progression here. Uh, but let's write it. Why not? Here we go. All right, there's, whoa, there's the assist. So the assist actually feels pretty good for a 250 watt. That might be, it's possibly all the power it has. Let's do the throttle. Yeah, I think that's it. So it looks like whether it's pedal assist or throttle, either one just gives you all 250 watts and nothing less. Um, which does mean it's kind of hard to go slow. The only way to do it is just turn the key and turn the bike off. So there we go. Now the bike's off. I can just pedal around. And uh, you can see it's, it's kind of a small bike. And then we turn the key back on, pedal assist. Power kicks right on. So it's funny how that works. Like the build quality of the bike isn't great, but for a 250 watt bike, the power is actually not bad. So I hope that nobody has one of these and was disappointed with it. Um, but the battery and the motor controller, they all feel pretty decent. Uh, if, if it was a little bit cheaper and you wanted to do like a DIY conversion, hey, for 500 plus bucks, you can get a battery controller motor. You can get everything you need to convert a different bike. <laughs> Maybe that wouldn't make any sense. You might be able to get just a better kit for the same amount of money. But there, there you have it. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this particular bike. If you guys have any ideas, in, let me know in the chat. What do you do with a bike that you're not sure if you really want to even give it away? Uh, I definitely could still give it away to somebody in need. I could sell it really, really cheap, but that might take a while to get somebody who even wants it. Or I could do something totally crazy with it. I kind of want to hear what your crazy ideas are. As long as they don't involve me, you know, doing anything too nuts. I'm not going to skydive out of an airplane with it. I don't think we're going to do that. But if you got another crazy idea that's something I'd actually do, let me know. Let's, uh, let's see what your comments are. Ah, class two. Yeah, it is a class two. And uh, don't give it away. Too much liability. Donate it. Uh, shred it live on YouTube. There is, uh, I'm sure some of you guys have probably heard of a channel called uh, What's Inside. I know that a few years back they cut open a rad power bike. That would be uh, interesting to do something crazy like that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're, I'm undecided. Uh, send me some suggest suggestions. Sergio says, leave it out overnight. Uh, I think what that's going to do is it's going to have it be a little bit cold overnight and then it'll still be there in the morning. All right. That's maybe that's a little cold on my part to say that. Anyway, if you're watching this, I love the fat tire folding bike so far. We're going to do the review on that. Please, please, please do some work on the mountain bike before you sell any more of those. Uh, fix those problems. Uh, here's my opinion for any bike company. If you have a bike that's decent or what appears like it might be decent, like this fat tire folding bike, you're going to turn people away if you're also selling a not so good bike. People are going to see that. They're going to hear about that. It's not going to be good for your brand name. You don't want that. Sell the bikes you have that are good quality. Stick to those. And we'll, we'll see how that one plays out in the review next week. Uh, because the power was decent on this bike, I'm hoping for good things on the other one. I haven't ridden it yet. And like I said, the quality on the other bike looks night and day difference. It's like it was made at a totally different factory. Wouldn't be surprised if it was, and they just got their name on it. So there we go. That's, that's all I got for you today. And <laughs> uh, just remember when this live video ends, that you're going to be redirected to the live for next week. Obviously, it's not going to be live because it's a week away, but you can click a little button to remind you 
That way you get a reminder next week when we do the live video. Yesterday was an awesome video. Thank you, Jerry Lee, for being on that video. If you haven't seen it, it's all about fat tires, kind of some of the history of fat tires. Where did they come from? Why did we even start using them? What makes them so popular on e-bikes? And it was, I think, uh, a really good video. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Again, that's the video we just posted yesterday. So you can go back and watch that and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I'll be back for another live review next week. We'll have more videos coming out next week, of course. And thank you to Soaring6. I appreciate that. I hope that that was for the honesty and the candor in today's review. Uh, always appreciate everything that everybody does for Bolton e-bikes. Uh, there is a link right here for a e-bike giveaway. We have been giving away bikes, so yeah, go check that out. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll see you again later. It's time to end the live video for...